Hi, let me show you a nice restaurant where they make their own soft tofu stew daily out of domestic beans and pretty Follies view of a fall day. It's delicious and interior is good. It is located in a suburb of Pokyonggi-do, so it's good to enjoy a day driving. After lunch, I fully enjoy fall follies at a nice cafe. Its name is Kiwa House and its interior is wonderful too. The prices of the menu are good too. Side dishes are self-service so you can have as much as you want. I ordered one white soft tofu stew, one acorn pancake, and one hangover seafood soft tofu stew. I can see that it is their own made. The red tofu stew really looks like a hangover soup as it has been sprung. It has lots of seafood too. The side dishes are neat and delicious too. It's not spicy at all. It's refreshing and savory. The acorn pancake is so soft. Its taste is a little bitter and savory. Eating it warm is tastier and its price is so good. Only 6,000 won. Regular white soft tofu stew seems better than seafood one as it tastes more savory and cleaner. Side dishes are so delicious that I refill like this. Seafood is beginning to come out now as it sank. The dishes are not made of plastic, they are heavy party. I can take this puree soybean free and make dinner with it. I can have two meals just at one meal price. The interior is luxury like that of a real Hanok house, Kiwa house. It's rare to see this luxury interior. Quite a few celebrities seem to have visited here too. Visit once the rare, both luxury and tasty restaurant. After the meal, I walk toward a cafe and ginkgo leaves are glowing with gold color. Ginkgo follies reaches a peak. This is the name of the cafe. Right up there is the grave for Poon Jeongmongju. It is cared well and is an attraction here. I go up leisurely for a walk. Wow! This time, a maple tree is glowing with its beautiful red leaves. A beautiful pond is picturesque too. These tree leaves are so pretty that I don't need to go other places to enjoy foliage. I'll surely visit here again next fall.
Now I'm going to the cafe right down it. The ground is covered with golden yellow ginkgo leaves that are as beautiful as the maple leaves that I just saw and it's so beautiful. First, I go inside to order. Interior has been nicely designed to look out of the windows. I looked around the upstairs. I sat at a table for a while as it was nice too and then went out. These days, it's rare to see ginkgo trees, but as I'm sitting and drinking coffee surrounded with them, I think it a paradise. I'm so happy that I could take a video of this happy moment of this fall foliage. Maybe today is the most beautiful day of the year and the timing is so amazing. After having coffee, I go up a little and a lamp museum is seen. With a little more walk up, there is an experience center for educating traditional food fermentation. In November, there are experiences for making Kinjang Kimchi and in December, red pepper peas making experiences. Next year, I'll experience all of Kimchi red pepper paste and soybean paste making. Thanks for watching. See you in nice fall travel videos. Please subscribe, like, and share.